And if we can do this, then you can do anything you want to do. Is Arlington an age-friendly community? Well, we'll find out after the break. One take Bermudas. Come and watch me on ACMI. I thought you were pointing this one. Okay. Sorry. Again. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to the 19th program in the Art in Arlington series. When I was your age, I never chased a boy or called a boy. Why? Why? Foodlink serves people in need in Arlington and the surrounding communities. We partner with 12 local grocery and prepared food stores. EdX launched their MicroMasters program as an opportunity for students around the world. Hello, thank you for coming um, here to Arlington. Um, I told this as I've been told this is where dreams are made. Again, this is Nicole with you. I'm your host, Nicole Samako. And we going to talk to Ashley. And then you will run to the devil himself from the sight of a gun. Derry down, 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 Derry down. Down, down, blue and brown, the leaves are falling to the ground. Uh, the Schwams specialized in here starting back in the 1860s. A customer comes in, tells us what he or she wants. I think we already have like 75 kids signed up for summer reading, Whoa. which is great. Yeah. Fantastic. Welcome to this episode of Songs of Hope and Tolerance. Start with one dollar. Camel with a man and a one me. Hello, I'm Joe from the Arlington Engineering Division, and I'm here on Mass Ave to talk about a new pedestrian crossing. Hi, I'm Susan Karp, the Executive Director of the Arlington Council on Aging. We're located in Arlington, Massachusetts. And welcome to A Books Review. I'm your host, Alistair Book. Oh, he comes up with it! Lays it up and in! So the Ponders have scored, they've won. Arlington has won the Super 8 Massachusetts State Championship. And the ball comes into the box. And oh, almost. And a goal. What a goal. Sawyer Davidson. I feel like this is the time to have conversation. It's the time to have these marriages. It's the time to speak out. Going so. At least the students are into it tonight. Or maybe good. Stick with more, more, more runs in offense. End of that last drive, so we gotta keep doing that. Hopefully, we do better in the second half. All right, thanks. Thirty. He touched back. 
He's got Marcus in his front. He's going to go. Oh, no way. Elijah Wood. That's good. Excellent. I've never felt this way. Anyone. Hi, my name is Sean Keen, ACMI's Government and Programming Coordinator. This year, updates to the Government Channel are upcoming shows, as well, network controlled pan tilt zoom cameras. These updates allow us to better inform the public about what's airing on the Government Channel. As well, the new network controlled cameras allow us to film meetings from anywhere. Welcome to Arlington Public News. I'm Brenda Mahoney. And I'm Paul Whirlin. Thanks for joining us here at the historic Jefferson Cutter House in Arlington Center. Everybody in town is looking forward to the upcoming solar eclipse later this month. And APN is bringing you the easiest and safest ways to witness this amazing event using simple materials you already have at home. If you're looking for an easy yet more effective way to see the eclipse, then the pinhole camera is the way to go. Dr. Ward's personal favorite, all you need is a long cardboard box, as well as paper, scissors, tinfoil, and a pin. This is a perfect one. Now you see right away the tiny pinhole, but the image here of the sun is significant larger and sharper. Okay, so this is a great one. It hit Pasquale and went in the goal. So the Ponders have scored, they've won. Arlington won its first state title in 46 years with the Super 8 championship on March 19th. It is the first public school to win the Super 8 since 2010 and just the third to win it all in the tournament's 30-year history. Polls have just closed. It's just after 8 p.m. and uh, we will be bringing you results live um, from Arlington's 21 precincts as they become available. Precinct 2, Town Clerk, Stephanie Lucarelli, 106. Write-in votes, zero. Ken Donnelly was just somebody who appreciated um, being, um, being with regular people. You know, it can get pretty hoity-toity. And when you're sitting in a Senate chamber and, you know, no one else can come down on the floor, you know, this is for senators only, um, he was more comfortable in the gallery. I don't want to be a career politician. I have spent my professional career helping people. As a firefighter, as an advocate for working people, and as a commissioner on the Public Employee Retirement Administration Commission. 
It's kind of like what they say about being a Marine. You're never not a firefighter. If you're a firefighter and you're a retired firefighter, you're still a firefighter. He, he was the one who showed us where, what we had to do, how we had to do it. Um, you know, when it came time for a car accident or a fire or a medical aid, he was the one that was the first in, he, and he was given the direction. Getting on the truck, he'd forget his boots, but he knew to make sure to cross all the, cross all the T's and I's on, on, a, on a piece of legislation when he was writing a lot of that stuff that he did write. So it was really uh, incredible to, wa to watch that. She is now State Senator Cindy Friedman. Ms. Friedman was sworn into office at the State House on July 27th, two days after winning the special election for the 4th Middlesex State Senate seat. Low voter turnout was the story of the day. In Arlington and Lexington, 14% of voters went to the polls. Friedman will serve out the two-year term of Senator Ken Donnelly, who died from brain cancer in April. At Audison Middle School, a group of dedicated young scientists spend afternoons and weekends working on unique research projects. Students in the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade team up with advisors to plan and execute their individual projects, with an eye on competing in the state's regional science fair. In March, we introduced you to the Audison Science Club members who were preparing for the upcoming regional science fair. The competition was originally scheduled for early April, but was postponed due to snow. The 12 up-and-coming student scientists found that patience pays off when they shared their year-long research projects at the Regional Science Fair in Lowell last weekend. Tyler DeLabarge's anti-theft backpack alarm earned him a first-place finish at the competition. And right behind him, Victor Chen's Should I Walk to School app came in second. Harry Averill and his research on leading edge control surfaces will join Tyler and Victor in representing Audison at the State Science Fair on June 3rd. Congratulations to all the participants. Hot and heavy are the only ways to describe firefighters gear. I wasn't quite sure what I had signed myself up for, but after getting geared up, Captain Dan Kerr introduced us to the mission. All right, so we're again with a search and rescue team. We're going to do a directed search. I'm going to pop that front door, going to go in the front door. Oh, let's all click on together. All right, let's go do search and rescue. Somewhere in the house was a training dummy, overcome by smoke. Captain Kerr led the search using a thermal camera. While firefighter Paul Stanton and I searched the rooms. This is a bigger area. I could right. watch him the whole time, I think. I got a person. You got a person? Yeah. All right, come over here. As you can see, Arlington Public News is right in the heart of your community. That's right. You may see us around town reporting on issues and events affecting Arlington. And you can always find us on the web at acmi.tv slash news. Oh, and don't forget to like us on Facebook and Twitter. Arlington Public News, your choice for hyperlocal news. Thanks for joining us. Stay cool this summer. See you next time. Take care.